Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about receptor tyrosine kinase. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. What are receptor tyrosine kinases? Receptor tyrosine kinases are transmembrane receptors that possess intrinsic cytoplasmic enzymatic activity catalyzing the transfer of phosphate of ATP to tyrosine residue in the protein substrates. The receptor tyrosine kinases are involved in mediating cell to cell communication and controlling a wide range of uh, complex biological functions including cell growth, motility, differentiation and metabolism. So there are variety of uh, functions for the receptor tyrosine kinases. So there are 58 known receptor tyrosine kinases in humans. All the RTKs uh, share similar protein structure and uh, this comprised of uh, extracellular ligand binding domain a transmembrane helix and an intracellular region. So the intracellular region has the regulatory region that has a tyrosine kinase domain and a carboxylic terminal tail. The dysregulation of the RTK signaling leads to many diseases, especially cancer. So this is one of the reason uh, the dysregulation that can lead to cancer. Coming to the structure of uh, receptor tyrosine kinase, so as we have seen earlier, uh, tyrosine kinases, uh, receptor tyrosine kinases has uh, ligand binding sites, the transmembrane helix and the intracellular region. So the exterior part has the ligand binding and it has a transmembrane uh, region and the regulatory region wherein uh, the tyrosine kinase uh, activity regions are present. So the tyrosine kinase uh, region has the activation loop and the, uh, and the uh, tyrosine residues in the tail region. So what happens is that uh, when a ligand comes and binds to the uh, receptor region or the ligand region, the bound ligand will create the dimerization of the of the receptor tyrosine kinase. So initially it act, it is it is present as a monomer. Uh, once the ligand binds, then it comes close to there together and forms a dimer. And it also induces conformational change in the activation leaf and that can result in the phosphorylation from ATP to ADP and which can re, uh, result in the active protein ty tyrosine kinase. So this uh, leads to a further addition of uh, the phosphorylation to the additional uh, tyrosine residues. So as you can see multiple uh, phosphate groups are added to the uh, different tyrosine uh, residues and this becomes fully active now. Once the activated receptor tyrosine kinase all phosphorylations uh, occur uh, then there is a signal transduction. The Activation and subsequent uh, autophosphorylation of the RTKs result in the recruitment of wide range of downstream signaling proteins. And most autophosphorylation sites function as the binding sites for SH2 or PTB domain containing signal proteins. The SH2 domain containing proteins can be uh, recruited directly to the receptor or indirectly to the receptor through docking proteins. And that in turn bind to the RTKs via their PTB domains. The involvement of various docking proteins converts uh, the activated RTKs, the ability to recruit and regulate wide range of signaling pathways. So that is how this uh, play a key role in the regulatory mechanism in the signaling pathway. The RTKs uh, function as a node which transfers complicated information regarding the cell growth and the migration of signal from the uh, extracellular to ultimately into the cell nucleus to activate transcriptional pathways involved in the regulating many cellular process. So that is how it plays a major role in the signal transduction. Hope you are clear with the receptor tyro tyrosine kinases. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.